Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 season of the Surfer video. Well, the reset is here and we have one hell of a quest. More than a weapon, steps 19 through 25. And this one, we're gonna get a brand new revision quest. That's mean we're gonna get a new exotic and I wanna walk it through you step by step. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. It took me a lot of time, so hopefully you can give this video a thumbs up because man, this quest is freaking amazing. First thing first, you want to start off at the helm, right? Heading over to the helm and you want to speak to your lovely exo frame. From here, you're going to get an update on more than a weapon quest. This next step, we need to head and open up a surfer chest. So steps 21 of 24, we need to head over to the heist battleground and open up the chest at the end of this lovely quest. So after you finish doing this, head over to that chest, open it up, and the quest will update with the new step. This time we need to head over to the hollow projector and receive a message. So step 22, we headed to the hollow projector. So to the helm we go over to the hollow projector and listen in on what the exo frame has to say. So head over here, like so, head down and speak with the exo frame at this lovely hollow projector. Now, this is where things are gonna get a little bit interesting. Yep, that's an exotic quest. More than a weapon is half part of an exotic quest called the Hidden Shape. As you can see right here, both of these quests, more than a weapon, Hidden Shape, both is gonna have us completing this amazing, difficult quest. Head over to the Operation Sherpa Shield and Let's do this. It's going to be quite challenging. First thing first, you can just avoid all that damage. Just run straight toward the ogre, right past the ogre, and just run straight inside. Just so you can just get started. Then we're going to get an update that we really need to pay attention to. Ah, that's a scanner protocol you've picked up. It should automatically detect which consoles have been tampered with and highlight them. It'll also highlight other tampered devices, so keep an eye out. Now. Get us access to those terminals and I'll have Anna perform a remote hack from here. Yep, and from here, guess what? We are headed into space. Now, the first one is going to be real easy to do. We just need to hack two terminals and then we're off to our launch. System cleared. Launch codes accepted. Priming the pods for launch. That's right, my guardians. We're finally headed into space. And this, this mission is freaking awesome. It's hard, it's challenging, but it's so freaking cool. So, doo -doo 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 -doo, we are launched into space, my guardian. And here is where things are gonna get a whole lot more challenging and interesting. First thing first, you wanna head over to your very first terminal and interact with it. That's right, scanner's gonna be offline. And now, we're gonna head just straight up like this. Um, this is gonna get real interesting, my dudes, because you're gonna have a, a lot of stopping points where there's gonna be doors that are locked. The first thing first, to get into the first area, you wanna just crouch down and shoot that little crate and head back over here. It's, it's gonna be easier for this one, one little terminal that you need to hack, and then you'll see all the enemies come out, and, and that's where we need to go. So head back over there, and then we're gonna go ahead and hack the terminal where we couldn't get in before. Now we're gonna take out this enemy like so. And then from here, we're gonna just head straight over to our next location. You're gonna use that lovely terminal once again when you're in this location because you're probably gonna be a little bit confused on how you can get to the next area. So we're gonna interact with this. We're gonna get our nice little scanner. Right now we can see the terminals that we need to hack. Remember we was doing this earlier. So we're gonna hack that one terminal like so. And then you're gonna see enemies come in and that's where we need to head to, another grate. So we're gonna shoot that grate. Once again, crouch down, head through the grate, which is great. <laughs> and then we're gonna hop down here where there's going to be some lasers that we're going to have to get past by. And then there's gonna be another hacking terminal. Voila, the door's gonna open up. Head inside where there's gonna be another terminal that we're gonna to have to kind of figure out how we're gonna get over there. But no worries, like I said, that's what these videos are for. We're gonna head back over here to use this augmented terminal, like so. That's gonna open up the door. And then from here, we're gonna jump up. 
and there's going to be a small little hacking terminal that we can use up here on top. So that's how we're going to do that. After you finish hacking that, the quest is going to update. And here we are. The door is open now. Watch out for all of those small, little, slow timer bounds. We're going to try to set you up to get you killed right there. From here, we're going to head all the way up. So take out these turrets and then make your way all the way up to the top. All right. Now that we're all the way up to the top, it's going to be... <laughs> A very challenging puzzle and look I'm not gonna lie to you it's gonna be different for everybody but I'm gonna try my best to walk you through it okay because there's gonna be a pattern that we're gonna need to follow patterns are gonna stay the same but these terminals are gonna be different for everybody so if you have the same highlighted terminals that I have you're in luck now for me it's all the way to the left I had the middle one then I had all the way to the right and then I had a middle one again. Now, the pattern is going to be different for everybody. So I want you to pay attention to how you can get past this part of this quest. Okay? Remember, the pattern is going to stay the same for everybody, but the highlighted terminals are going to be different. So you're going to have to memorize which terminals you have and memorize the pattern, but they'll show you the pattern. But if you come off, I mean, just a little bit off the pattern, you're going to die. And that's what I'm showing you right here. If you don't stick to the pattern, you will die. It's very frustrating, but trust me, it's easy once you know exactly what to do. So, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna take out this guy, right? He's gonna drop that off in the scanner. The scanner is gonna show what terminals, and remember, they're gonna be random for everybody, the terminals that we need to interact with in order to get to the next part of the door. So, up top, you know, it's gonna be random for everybody. For me, I got the middle one, I got the third one, and then I got the middle one. For me, for me, okay? For me. If you see the same terminals, then, then you're in luck. You get to go just watch the video and you're good. But, like I said, it's gonna be random for everybody. So, no worries, the pattern is going to stay the same. So, just memorize which terminals you need to interact with, and then you're gonna memorize the pattern that's down here on the bottom. Once you got these memorized, you're good to go. Remember, if you step off one little smash to the left or to the right, you're gonna die, right? And there's lasers there too. So for me, I'm gonna come down to this pattern. I'm gonna hit the one in the middle, come straight over here. I'm gonna jump over that one little laser, hit that one all the way to the right. Then I'm gonna come over here and hit the middle again. Easier said than done, trust me. <laughs> Easier said than done. But once you memorize your pattern, memorize your terminals, wash, rinse, repeat, you're gonna be like, okay, yeah, I got it. And then you eventually you'll get it. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and step over there. I'm dead. Remember, following the pattern, this small little laser, I'm gonna crouch down and you should crouch down too, right? I'm gonna head over here. Remember, everybody's pattern's the same, but the terminal's gonna be different. Mine's is the middle over here. So boom, there it is right there. Now, according to the pattern, remember, you come straight up. If I jump over there to the left, I'm dead, right? But if right here, we're good. Now, remember, memorize the pattern, memorize the pattern. Memorize the terminal. Mine was the third one over here, so boom, I'm gonna hit that. And if I come over here to the left, I'm dead. Come over here to the left, I'm dead. But remember the pattern, I could come over here like so, and then you're good to go. You can hit whatever one you have. Me, I have the middle one. So let's do this. Jump over the laser again, come back over here, and hit whatever terminal that you have. Me, I have the middle one, voila, just like that. You're done. Easier said than done, trust me. This is by far gonna be the longest hacking terminal that you're gonna to have to figure out because it's random for everybody. But once you figure it out, you're pretty much good to go. Now after that, you wanna head into the next room, take out all of the enemies, like so. And there's gonna be a small little terminal that you can just shoot, shoot that terminal. And uh, yeah, the, the door is gonna open up. This is gonna be super easy for this one. All right, now after that, it's gonna have some more enemies take out said enemies before we head into the next room and then once we're over here in said next room there's going to be a small little door over there there's going to be two little terminals that we can crouch down into and we're going to be doing this a lot head into the terminal that you crouch down into there's going to be a small little terminal that we can shoot way over there so remember crouch down there's going to be two different spots that we need to do this shoot that terminal all right, head back into the same room that we came into, like so. And then we need to crouch down into the same other terminal right by the little laser door right here. So here we go. We're gonna crouch down into the second little terminal right there. It's a little bit of a little grate that you shoot off. And bam, here are the other enemies. Take out said enemies. Come over here to the little window, shoot the terminal, and the quest will update yet again. I know, it's a lot, it's a lot. Now we're off to the West Quadrant Control Room key, which needs to be acquired. 
So once again, we're gonna head back over into the room where the enemies are coming out of. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty much straightforward, at least for this part, right? Once again, you know, we're gonna have more and more terminals that we're gonna have to figure out. And everything that we're learning is gonna lead us all the way up until this boss fight. That's right, but it's just one small part of the boss fight. We're gonna have to chunk his health down three different times and it's gonna kinda get us prepared for the final battle. So for the very first part, it's gonna be simple. He's gonna have an overshield, take down his shield, and he's gonna disappear. It's gonna spawn in a whole bunch of different enemies. After we take out all of the enemies, then the quest will update. Trust me, it is a ton of enemies in this room. You may be thinking, uh, what am I supposed to do? Just take out all the enemies, there's a lot. After that, the quest will update yet again, and now we need to get captured. So head into the next room, surrender your weapons, and they are going to capture you. Now you're on their base. But here's the cool thing, you're gonna get your weapon back. So don't worry, we're gonna get our weapons. Once you get your weapons back, you're gonna have to escape the base. Take out the enemies and escape the base, and we are in space. That's right. We're gonna have to do a huge space jump, uh, kind of like a leap of faith. Uh, good luck with that. You might die once, you might die twice, you might die three times, but no worries. You'll get through it, jump down all the way over here, like so, and we need to make our way all the way to the left, right? So just make your way to the left, jumping on these little small little bridges, terminals is gonna come out, and once you're over here, there's gonna be a small little spot where we need to open up these three little ledges in order to proceed. So we're gonna hit those three terminals, one, two, three. It's gonna pull up these small little ledges that we can jump onto. That's how we're gonna progress this part. So trust me, it's gonna be uh, a nice little stopping spot right here. There's gonna be a ton of enemies, right? Take out those enemies and now we're gonna jump up, right? We're gonna be making our way up from here. So make your way all the way up and voila, here we are, finally inside the base yet again. Use that augmented terminal to head inside of this room and bam, there's another boss, right? No, that's the same boss. We're just doing the same things, wash, rinse, repeat, and kind of getting us prepared for the final boss. So after you finish taking out this guy, you're gonna have to use your scanner and protocols to access the Warshot command. Easier said than done, all right? So once you finish taking out that boss, we're gonna head into this room where there's a ton of enemies and um, we want to have this small extra thing to interact with called a operator, right? Now to get that operator, we're going to have to take out the dude. You'll see it to the left hand side, it'll say operator. And that's going to help us open up some doors, right? Another little sequence that we have to use. Get into this door after we get that operator buff, so to speak. And uh, yeah, we're into this room where we need to use the augmented terminal. Use the augmented terminal and we're gonna have no buffs on us, right? No buffs, no nothing, just some locked doors. Well, how do you get into these locked doors? This is what you're gonna have to do in order to get into these locked doors. And head back over here, we're gonna get this augment from taking out this guy. So we got the augment, right? We got the augment. Now it's gonna spawn in the guy that's operator. Take off the augment and then come over to the operator. Take out the operator pick up the operator's buff and then we can shoot the terminal which will open the door. All right, so that's how you're gonna do it. Inside of here, we're gonna be another terminal that we're gonna have to unlock. We still have the operator buff, right? So we're gonna come over here, use the augment. Bam, it's gonna take off our operator's buff since we don't need it. And now since we have the scanner buff, we can scan this, which means we can hack it. So after you finish hacking that, the door will finally open up. I know it's a lot, my dude. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me a ton of time to put this together. If you have any issues, let me know. Hopefully, you know, this video will help you out, my dude. From here, we have a terminal over here. We have augment terminal over here. So use the augment, take out the guy that's gonna spawn in. You're gonna get the operator buff, which we can then shoot the little scanner up there, little terminal, it's gonna open up the door, take out all of said enemies, sweet. Nice little turret over here, take out the turret, and inside of this room, it's gonna be the same thing, a terminal. The guy over there is gonna give us an operator buff, like so. So, let's do this. We're gonna head back over to the terminal. Boom, head over to the terminal. Then we can see right here, we can pick up that, and we can go ahead and hack that terminal. Boom, 
easy peasy once you know what to do. After that, a whole bunch of enemies are going to spawn in. You want to make your way all the way up to the top where we need to access another terminal to open up the door. Now, after we open up the door, there's going to be a huge surveyor. And this is kind of going to be like a simulation of what the fight is about. You're going to get a suppressor augment from killing an enemy, right? And in order to take out this surveyor, you're just going to do a small little damage each time you stand under one of these three different round circles. So get the suppressor buff, do a little bit of damage, set in the next one, do a little bit of damage, set in the next one, do a little bit of damage. Then finally, the door is going to open up and then you can finally take out the surveyor. Remember, this is going to be a preview of how the boss fight is going to work. Use that augment and now it's pretty much time for the boss fight, my dudes. You're going to get a nice, lovely boss fight. That's Praxis the Defile, and there's going to be a ton of enemies in here. So this is how I took out the boss. Remember, we're going to be getting everything that we've learned throughout this engagement and use it to our advantage, right? We got terminals we got to hack, we got enemies we got to kill, and we got buffs that we're going to need to use in order to take out the boss. Now, we're going to be doing this on the last damage phase since they pretty much are all the same. Right? You're going to spawn in a whole bunch of enemies, including that one guy that's supposed to be suppressed. You'll see the highlight over his head and you'll see that you're suppressed. You need to stand in each one of the three different locations where there is a circle on the ground. Right? You're going to see a little small little circle. It's very hard to miss. And just do damage to him. Remember, he's going to be immune. Just going to do a little damage once, twice, and then thrice on each of those small little circles. And after you do that, then finally the shield will come down on the boss and you can do that damage that you wanna do. You're gonna to have to do that three times, right? Now, after you do that, you're gonna have these small little terminals that's gonna open up. So you're gonna stand into those three little circles, deal damage to the boss, you're gonna get immune, damage, immune, damage, immune, and then these doors are gonna open up right where we were standing at, right? And those little doors are gonna have these little things that we're gonna to have to blow up. After you blow those up, then the shield will finally come down on the boss, okay? So that's how you're going to kill the boss. Praxis is down, he's defeated, and you are done with one of the longest and very puzzling quests that has been in Destiny. There's a zero hour, zero hour is more or less of a time challenge. This is more puzzly, you know? <laughs> After that, you finish up your quest, and the more than weapon is almost done. But you're done, you know what I'm saying? You pretty much have done all of the hard stuff. The hitting shape is next up for our exotic quest. We just need to head back over to the ham and go collect our rewards. So congratulations, if you made it to this far into the video, um, you done it, my dude. You're about to get yourself a brand new exotic. Head back over and speak with this exo frame and you're gonna get yourself a brand new exotic as well as finish up in this quest line for this week which we'll start again next week you know what i'm saying you know how that go but hey we got a brand new revision zero quest and we have a brand new exotic to play with and step 25 is complete for more than a weapon so there you have it my dudes i hope you truly enjoyed it as always if you're new to the channel how you doing and welcome don't forget to subscribe right here at carpool gaming below the wide variety of videos range from updates tips and tricks guides and news and a whole lot more so hopefully you enjoyed this video once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one, my guardians. Later.